Hey guys, I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sorry about the challenge before, but I'm doing this now, not to because I feel like I owe you, because this is therapy for me. Even though I didn't do the challenge earlier, something was missing, and you know, when we connect like this, believe it or not, it's therapy for me, it really is. So, it's another installment of Late Night Snack Time with the Scoville Squad. I don't really feel like eating these, but this is just an excuse so I can hang out with you guys. But we'll see what happens. These are kind of sketchy looking. I'm not going to lie to you. Carolina Country Snacks, Porkskins.com, tender and crunchy. The tender and crunchy, they don't look tender. These are popcorn fried cracklings. But if you look in there, do they look, they look like those little jawbreakers. They don't look like the tender type. But we're going to do it anyway. All right, cool company. Here are the ingredients, ready? Pork skin salt. Pork skin salt. Easy shopping, right? Some salt and some pork skins. I still do it, I don't know why. These are from Carolina Country Snacks. Here we go. I'm Johnny Scoble, this is JC. They look like jawbreakers, but they're not. There's some marching going on here. Some people are going, what? What do you say? So there's zero flavor on this. No, nothing. Looks all. These are great. They're crunchy, but they're not jawbreakers. You don't know I mean by that, right? Sometimes when you get, um, see the skin on the curled side, on the inside? Sometimes when you get pork skins with that on that, It's a quick trip to the dentist, but really very tasty. I'm impressed. The best part about it, the crunch is good, but the flavor is amazing. I will eat these again. Now, we're going to go to Tommy's Picks. I'm going to play a video first. It's tough for me to listen to. There'll be some levity in just a minute, okay? Hey, Scoble Squad. Happy Father's Day from uh, all of us here at the front of the bus. Uh, it's um, it's not been the easiest of days. I, I would say that our uh, our donkeys have been getting kicked around pretty good today, which is probably pretty normal for the first Father's Day. Uh, but I was reading through the comments section as I do, and uh, I could have used every single one of those comments. You people said the most amazing things. Um, the one that really jumped out was Drew V. Thanks, Drew. It said, uh, grab a piece of cheese and a pepperoncini and hold it high. In tribute to Bob Scoville. Good stuff. But I couldn't put Johnny through that <laughs> for picking it. So, but to everybody else, uh, thank you for your comments. And the one thing that just kept coming through that was shocking to me was that you all said 
that Johnny shouldn't feel bad because after all, he's human. He's not human. Trust me on this. I'm his brother. Not human. God bless you all. Happy Father's Day to all of you dads. And for those in the same boat as me, my thoughts and prayers go out to you. We love you all. Have a great day. We'll be back smiling and joking tomorrow, I promise. And uh, for those of you who have been asking, it's getting a little smaller. So is the other one. God bless. Have a great day. All right. He said there'll be some, we'll be back tomorrow with some humor. We'll be, we're here tonight with some humor. Tell me when Tommy doesn't wear his glasses, he doesn't look exactly like Homer Simpson. <laughs> when he takes his glasses off to read something, he's done that to me on video. He's Homer Simpson. But the other thing is, uh, I am human, mostly human, mostly. It's got to count for something. And he's my brother, so if I'm not human, what does that say about him? Anyhow, he's right. Thank you so much for all of the amazing comments. You guys are amazing. So let's go to Tommy's Picks and have a little levity. Oh my goodness, Thomas Elwood Bailey. I'm liking the chop busting with Dr. Tommy and Johnny. Just as funny as Tommy's Picks. Well played, Scoble Brothers. Well played. There'll probably be some Homer Simpson comments. Tell me it doesn't look like Homer Simpson. Come on. Come on. Elwood, my man, you're, you're in luck. You, you see, I have been busting Johnny's chops for going on five decades, and he has been returning the favor for just, just as long. Longer. Uh, now that you are all getting uh, to know us as brothers, I think you'll all see a, great deal of, see a great deal of banter. Not put on for your enjoyment. It's just how the Scoville brothers are. Next up, James J. Honestly, Tommy, I don't know how you can do another three weeks like that. You need boxing gloves. People commenting on the size of my hands, even when not swollen, is a favorite pastime uh, of all who have met me. Some of my favorites include Clydesdale hands, saying I look like that, the hamburger helper, where each, uh, hand, uh, where each hand should be made... Uh, my laugh out loud too. Hey, you know that he also looks like you guys ever see Young Frankenstein? The older, the comedian, the comedy, Mel Brooks. Frankenstein's dead in the street. He's under the tarp, and he has this huge hand. And uh, who is it? I forgot his name. Somebody will tell me. Uh, I can't remember that. the actor. Has his hand. He's pretending it's his, and it's a huge giant mitt. That's Tommy's hand. Some, if you don't know that video, if you don't know that movie, it's a lousy reference. But man, if you know that reference, oh. Anyhow. Uh, boxing gloves might not be such a bad idea. I thought, uh, I got to think about that one. They don't make boxing gloves that size. Are you joking? Come on, Tommy. Uh, as to the three more weeks, I must get through. It's more like a carrot on a string in front of a horse. The, the carrot being my family, all 100,000 of you. The prospect of doing what I, what I want, dare I be so bold as to say what I was born to do, gets me through the days when the Clydesdale hands are throbbing. That and knowing my dad is watching, those would be the two things that are pulling me through. Thanks, JJ. Uh, and thank you, JJ. And lastly, Crystal K, I know you found a healthy way, I love how you found a healthy way to distract yourself from chronic pain. Although I'm intolerant to capsaicin, I appreciate your work. Wow, intolerance to capsaicin, what a bummer. Thank you, Crystal. Johnny, this is one of those people you talked about the other day that have a very special place in your heart, as they, they do in my heart as well. It's the riders on the bus who, who enjoy what, what the family nature of the bus, but don't, eat, don't chase the heat. I mean it. Thank you, Crystal. You, that means the world to me. I'm being serious. Where did I go? Um, I like to think of them as people who just sort of chase life in all the best ways. I think they stick around for the fact that there's kindness. We all care for one another. And there's a message uh, today that's going to be great because we're going to make it great. Cool message and, and, and Chasey Heat is great because of writers like that. Like you, Crystal, and JJ and Elwood. Thank you guys so much. These are great.
All right, we're gonna wrap it up. These are tasty. Guys, if you've never tried these, these are worth eating. They're not spicy. This felt like sitting in front of you guys. So it is what it is, but these are tasty. All right, you guys, we're gonna wrap up now. Right there is the pepper. Access to the bus right there. You ever buy a car? Mountains of paperwork? Ha! Hit that button. Simple. Cheers. If you don't want to miss a video, click the bell for notification. We typically upload 8, noonish, and 9 every day. Right there is Leo Fire. More videos there. Thanks for being here. I mean it. I'm Johnny Scoville. Oh, by the way, tomorrow's going to be great. I'm Johnny Scoville. This was Chase Z.